What's up? Welcome back. So, a huge part of my channel is this. My strike back. I think it's like my top four or five most viewed videos is on this thing. So, obviously, people are curious about it and there's not that much information out there on it, especially when it comes to this thing on PC. So, this video actually isn't explaining how to use it on PC. If you want to figure out how to use it on PC, I made a tutorial on that. You can click uh, that little pop-up thing over there and you can watch that to figure out how to actually connect it and use it on your PC. This video is actually the solutions for some of the problems people have been having with that video. So this video actually has 257 comments and I think probably a little under half of them is me actually replying back to people answering their questions. So it's a lot of questions. So just going through scrolling through a couple of them, I reply to nearly every single comment and i've actually replied to every single question and some people even go into discord and ask me for my discord and i'll go on a call with them and answer their questions so i just decided to make a video kind of answering these questions so my purpose with this video is to take all the information that i've learned from other people figuring out their problems and from me experimenting with different stuff and just to combine it into this one video so I can link this video to people instead of going through and spending 10 minutes on each question and trying to figure it out. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with some of the most common questions and answers. To start off, there is an issue with the controller for some people when you first plug it in. Alright, so let's see if this looks familiar. You have your controller, you have your cord, you plug it in and the yellow light turns on. And then it shuts off your strike packs on your controller lights not on this usually means one of two things so the first thing that i usually tell people is that make sure it's plugged all the way in especially if your strike pack is brand new you don't realize how much force you have to use to actually get it and plug it all the way in until it connects so then once you finally get it in you should feel a little click it shouldn't just go in and kind of slide in and stay there it should go in and you should almost feel it click into place so when you do that it can usually go a little further and then and then that's when your light will actually come on and you'll be good to go another huge solution that uh Svesify, Svesify? i think that's how you say that uh he actually commented this on one of my videos helping another user that was having the unknown controller problem and this is what he said which so far has helped a ton of people so he says i had the same unknown controller issue as strange as it may sound i managed to solve it by plugging the controller into a different usb port on the back where it decided to work in instead of the front panel ports it wasn't working in a bit further testing i found it worked in four of the nine ports all four at the top too on the back in none of the four front ports and looking at my motherboard manual those four ports it works in are controlled by the cpu while all others which it didn't work in are controlled by the motherboard chipset then he says so yeah if you still want to get it working through steam i suggest trying it in other usb ports top ones at the back are probably the best bet to see if that fixes the issue for you too. It still might not work, but it's worth a shot. So far, it's worked for a lot of people. So go ahead and try that and plug your USB cable, the other end of the cable that plugs in your strike pack, plug that into one of the top ports on your PC. You can't use the front ports and you can't use the back bottom ports typically. Try to use the back top ports and see if that fixes the issue. Then a couple more people said that when they went to add a game in Steam, that the Epic Games launcher wasn't actually in the file location that I said it was in. So another user said to go to this file location. So if you go ahead and follow that file location, if that's not there for you in that file location, then it might be here instead. A third issue, which is kind of an issue, kind of not, is that the touchpad doesn't work in that video that I showed you. At least it didn't work for me. I'm not sure about everyone else, but the touchpad wouldn't work for me. And user Jockala Wars, 
interesting name, said, I managed to use the touchpad by updating the strike pack. So I'm assuming he went through the software, the SCP toolkit, he updated it and then uninstalled the software and then went back through and did the rest of it. Or maybe he didn't even uninstall the software. I'm not completely sure. There's a bunch of workarounds that you can do to this. It just gets really complicated to get into. So a couple of newer recent problems have seemed to come with season 11. Danger said, when I'm playing a game and have FPS drops, the controller disconnects someone else like that. So obviously someone else is probably having that problem too. He says it might be the graphics card. He thinks he needs a new one. And then he said, I think I need to connect the cable to the blue USB port on the PC, but my PC doesn't have that port. I think a blue USB port means USB 3 port. I don't exactly think that's true, that it needs to be plugged into USB 3.0 port, but it is possible. Another user said it logs me after five minutes into a game. Do you know how to fix that? I don't know how to fix that. I tried to look into that. I could not find any answers. A lot of people will comment and then I'll respond and they won't respond back. So that only brings me to assume that they figured out their problem. If none of these answers helped you, then definitely let me know in the comments down below what other questions you guys have. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. If it did, drop a like, uh, subscribe for more Strike Pack content, just Fortnite content in general. And thanks for watching.